and yields back. Mr. Who, Franklin. Mr. Franklin. Thank you, Madam Chair. I also uh, am a strong supporter of, of this bill. Um, as a, a career naval aviator and a, um, a general aviation pilot, I can tell you these air traffic controllers have saved my life on a number of occasions. And this is a problem that we have nationwide. Uh, in virtually every industry we talk to, uh, there's a shortage of, of personnel. Some of that is COVID, some of it's baby boomers uh, in the, the retirement phase. But this is a problem that air traffic controllers have been dealing with for years because of the mandatory retirement age at 56. Personally, I'd like to see that addressed because a lot of these uh, people still have a lot of useful years that they can still uh, apply their trade and we need them. And it's a problem that's only getting worse. Um, and, and this bill is frequently, those who would uh, oppose it would say, well, these are small airports and, and we really don't need this measure uh, to be put into place. But uh, I can tell you from uh, personal testimony, my own hometown of Lakeland, Florida, uh, Lakeland Linder International Airport is considered one of these small airports. It does use these contract controllers. Uh, we also at our airfield have uh, Amazon Air, it's a huge air hub. We have five flight schools, four government agencies, including the NOAA Hurricane Hunters, uh, Draken International, which is the largest private military air force in the world. Uh, we have the Sun and Fun Fly-In, which is the second largest air show uh, in the United States. And we're considered a small airport. So uh, it, you know, at any given time, we've got 767s hauling cargo, uh, it's students who've never flown before, military aircraft, and then over 260 private aircraft that fly out of that field. We need uh, qualified controllers. We need to keep these people working. And the last thing we need in our country is anything that would disincentivize someone who's willing to work. These folks should not be punished for wanting to continue to work, and I fully support the act. I yield back.